Ever wondered who the Houthis are and how they emerged as a powerful force in Yemen's complex socio-political landscape? Let's take a step back in time to the 1990s, to the rugged terrains of northern Yemen, where the story of the Houthis begins. Born out of resistance and a sense of marginalization, the Houthi movement initially known as Believing Youth, started as a small inconspicuous insurgent group. Northern Yemen during this period was a boiling pot of socio-political unrest. The country was in the throes of a unification process, merging the capitalist south and the tribal north. The resulting socio-political tensions, economic disparities and deep-seated tribal loyalties provided a fertile ground for the Houthi movement to take root. The group was founded by Hussein Badreddin al-Houthi, a member of the Zaidi sect of Shia Islam, a minority in a predominantly Sunni country. Their initial aim was not political dominance but rather a revival of Zaidi traditions and beliefs, which they felt were under threat from the increasing influence of Sunni Islam, especially the Salafist and Wahhabist traditions. The 1990s were marked by growing disillusionment among the Zaidi Shia community in northern Yemen. They felt marginalized in the new political order, their religious beliefs sidelined, and economic development in their region neglected. The Houthis tapped into this disillusionment, gradually evolving from a theological revivalist movement into a political force. The government's heavy-handed response to the Houthis' growing influence only fueled the flames of rebellion. Clashes between the Houthis and government forces escalated throughout the late 1990s and early 2000s, culminating in the Sada Wars, which marked a significant turning point in the Houthi insurgency. So the Houthis, starting as a small insurgent group, laid their foundation in the 1990s, setting the stage for their future rise. This was a period of transformation for them, a shift from being a theological movement to a political and military force. But this was just the beginning of their journey. The enigma of Yemen's Houthis is a fascinating tale of resistance, survival and power politics that continues to unfold. Now that we know where the Houthis came from, let's delve into their ascent to power. The period between 2004 to 2010 was marked by a brutal civil war in Yemen. It was during this time that the Houthis began to rise from the ashes, seizing upon the chaos and instability to expand their influence and control. This insurgent group, which was once seen as a fringe element in Yemeni society, quickly grew into a formidable force. The civil war was a period of intense strife and political turmoil. The Yemeni government, already struggling with rampant corruption and economic woes, was ill-prepared to deal with such a potent insurgency. The Houthis, on the other hand, were quick to capitalize on this instability. They skillfully exploited the government's weaknesses, gradually expanding their sphere of influence across the country. But the Houthis didn't just seize power through brute force. They also won hearts and minds by positioning themselves as champions of the marginalized and disenfranchised. The Houthis tapped into widespread discontent with the government, promising a better future for those left behind by Yemen's political and economic system. It's also important to mention that the Houthis' rise wasn't just a local phenomenon. They were also bolstered by international dynamics, particularly the rivalry between Iran and Saudi Arabia. The Houthis, who adhere to a branch of Shia Islam, received support from Iran, while the Yemeni government was backed by Saudi Arabia. This international dimension added fuel to the fire, contributing to the Houthis' ascent. In essence, the Houthis' rise to power was a product of both local and international factors. They skillfully exploited Yemen's political instability, won over the hearts and minds of many Yemenis, and capitalized on regional rivalries to bolster their position. Thus, the civil war marked a significant turning point, catapulting the Houthis from an insurgent group to a significant force. With the groundwork laid and their power solidifying, the Houthis began to make their mark on Yemen's political scene. It was around late 2014 to early 2015 when the Houthis, also known as Ansar Allah, took over Yemen's government. This marked a drastic shift in the country's political landscape. But how did this insurgent group manage to seize control of a nation's government? It was a combination of political savvy, military strength, and exploiting a power vacuum left by the previous government. The Houthi governance style was drastically different from what the Yemeni people were accustomed to. They implemented a theocratic model, with the group's leader, Abdul Malik al-Houthi, assuming a role similar to that of a supreme leader. This shift was a stark contrast to Yemen's previous governance, 
which had been a semi-presidential system, the policies they introduced were also quite distinct. They implemented strict regulations based around their Zaidi Shia beliefs. This included restrictions on freedom of speech and assembly, as well as stringent rules on women's rights. These policies were met with a mixture of resistance and acceptance among the Yemeni populace. Their impact on Yemen's socio-political landscape has been profound. They effectively redrew the political map of Yemen, with their control extending to the capital, Sana'a and other major cities. Their rule also saw an increase in sectarian tensions, as their Zaidi Shia beliefs often clashed with the Sunni majority in the country. However, it's important to remember that the Houthis' rise to power didn't occur in a vacuum. It was a product of years of political instability, economic hardship and social unrest. Their ability to seize control was as much a reflection of Yemen's systemic issues as it was their own strength and ambition. The Houthis, once a small insurgent group, had now taken control of a nation. Their journey from obscurity to power is a fascinating study of political maneuvering, opportunism, and the will to power. It's a tale that continues to shape the course of Yemen's history. Fast forward to the present day, the Houthis continue to hold power, but at what cost? Yemen, a nation once known for its breathtaking landscapes and rich history, is now synonymous with a protracted conflict that has brought untold suffering to its people. The Houthis, who rose from a small insurgent group to a dominant political force, continue to control large parts of the country, including the capital, Sana'a. However, their reign has been marked by a humanitarian crisis of epic proportions. The ongoing war has devastated Yemen's infrastructure, economy and healthcare system. Famine looms large, with millions of Yemenis on the brink of starvation. Diseases such as cholera and dengue fever have surged, compounded by a lack of clean water and medical supplies. All the while, the Houthis maintain their grip on power, often accused of exacerbating the situation through policies and practices that have been criticized both domestically and internationally. The international response to the crisis in Yemen has been a mix of condemnation, humanitarian aid and diplomatic efforts to broker peace. The United Nations, along with various NGOs, has been tirelessly working to alleviate the suffering of the Yemeni people, providing food aid, medical assistance and other vital resources. However, peace remains elusive. Various attempts at ceasefires and peace talks have been met with limited success, often collapsing due to ongoing hostilities and deep-seated mistrust between the warring factions. The Houthis, for their part, have shown a willingness to engage in dialogue. Yet their actions on the ground often tell a different story. Looking to the future, the prospects for peace in Yemen are uncertain. A resolution requires not only an end to the fighting, but also a comprehensive political solution that addresses the root causes of the conflict, including the grievances of the Houthis. Today, Yemen stands at a crossroads with the Houthis at the helm amidst a sea of challenges. The path forward is fraught with difficulties, but the hope remains that Yemen can emerge from this crisis and rebuild itself into a nation where peace and prosperity can flourish once again. As we journeyed through the history of Yemen's Houthis, we witnessed their rise, their rule, and their ongoing role in Yemen's turbulent saga. In our exploration, we traced back to the enigmatic origins of the Houthis, born amidst the tumult of Yemen's political landscape. We saw how a group that started as a religious movement, advocating for the rights of the Zaidi Shia minority, transformed into a significant political force. We explored their ascent, fueled by widespread dissatisfaction with the Yemeni government and the country's deep-seated socio-economic issues. Then, we navigated the complicated waters of their time in power. We saw how they seized control of Yemen's capital, Sana'a, in 2014, and how their rule has been marked by ongoing conflict and widespread human rights abuses. We also explored the international response, ranging from foreign military intervention to attempts at diplomatic resolution. Fast forwarding to the present day, we discussed the Houthis' current situation. Despite years of conflict and international pressure, the group remains a formidable force. They continue to control significant portions of Yemen, including the capital, and their influence extends far beyond their territorial holdings. But what does all this mean for Yemen's future? The rise and rule of the Houthis have undeniably shaped the country's trajectory. Their actions have deepened divisions, exacerbated humanitarian crises, and complicated efforts to bring peace and stability. 
Yet they're also a symptom of broader issues plaguing Yemen from corruption and economic inequality to sectarian strife and foreign interference. In reflecting on the Houthis' journey, we're left with a multifaceted portrait, one that intertwines power, politics, and people in a complex dance. It's a portrait that raises difficult questions about the nature of power, the price of resistance, and the realities of conflict. In the end, the story of Yemen's Houthis offers a stark reminder of the complexities of power, politics, and people in times of conflict. 